representation. So what we have, like I said before, is personas, which is people. We have here the subject pronouns. And then we have two columns, minus R, and then minus E, R, minus E, R, right? These are the three types of endings that you will always see in the verbs in Espanol, especially regular verbs. This is for, for regular verbs. Okay, so the preterite or uh, preterito uh, indefinido, we have for each column, like in this, for example, minus R. Terminaciones, which means endings, and also the verb that is an infinitive. What does it mean to be an infinitive? That is the base form of the verb, meaning to say it's not conjugated to any subject pronoun. Who are the subject pronouns? Our friends over here, yo, tú, él, ella, usted. So what we do is like a simple math formula thing. We take the verb in infinitive, hablar, and then we put next to it minus R. So what would be hablar minus R? What would it sound like, the word? Able. Able, right? Like able or ab able, yeah. Yeah, so then what we do is that this able, we notice that we have an e, the ending e. So what we do is that we add that e, that ending, to this able. And the result of that would be able. So can you do like that math, let's say, with the next one? How would you do it? So it would be, again, hablar minus the r, so able, and then add the aste, so it would be hablaste. Perfect. And then you do exactly the same thing to this one. Can you do one for this one? Er or ir? Any. They have the same endings over here. Um. So take the er from append there. So let's have append. And then for nosotros, we could do aprendimos. So nosotros over here, which will be the subject pronoun, which means we. And then we go aprendimos, right? Let's do one for vivir. Um. So we would take away the ir. So let's have viv. And then um, if we wanted to use the the personas too, we add este, so the viste. Viviste, very good. And this is how you easily can remember the um, proper conjugations 